What's up babes? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Angel. So in today's video we're going to be reviewing and talking all about the new NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer. I am so excited to try this concealer to say the least. So before we get into it, I just need you to go ahead and smash that subscribe button and we'll jump right into it. So before we get into the demo and reviewing this concealer, I'm just going to be talking about the claims that this concealer has. So this concealer claims to be lightweight, it claims to be transfer resistant, it also claims to hide and diminish those dark circles and dark marks that you have underneath your eyes, so it's like a camouflage kind of effect. It also claims to brighten up the face and hide your imperfections. This concealer is also a 24 hour wearing concealer just like the foundation was. It is also a matte concealer. So now that my face is all primed, I use the Smashbox Photo Finish Oil Free Primer. Basically, it's the purple one. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply my foundation. I'm using the Fenty Beauty. Y'all know how I feel about my Fenty Beauty. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this to my face and then we'll be back to get into concealer. Now that my base is done, my foundation is finished. So we're going to go ahead and move on to the demo of this concealer. So let me just say I am excited to try this concealer to say the least. I love concealer like if I had to choose I don't know about all of that but if I had to choose a few makeup products to sh like to be like on a deserted stranded island or something this is what I would choose a concealer I love concealers I have like 50 concealers so I can't wait to see what this one is like um, I'm excited to see if it's as matte as the foundation was um, I just felt like the foundation was a little bit too matte for me I feel like it really didn't um, work out as good as I thought it would work out. Um, I have combination skin, but that foundation is bomb if you have oily skin. But back to this concealer, like I'm already really loving the um, the color of it, and I'm I try not to apply too much because this is my first time. You know, you don't go all in the first time. You know what I'm saying? So we're just gonna apply um, just a little. And to me, I've already kind of applied too much. But uh, we're going to go with it. The first thing I've already noticed about this concealer is that it is really creamy. And I do feel like it is a more, um, I don't want to say drier formula concealer, but it's not super wet, which is what I like. Um, I don't like a concealer that's too wet. Um, it makes it really hard to get good coverage when it's too wet and it makes it a little bit... Um, and it makes it a little bit harder like to blend because it's kind of patchy when it's too thin. But this thing, this concealer is full coverage. Oh my gosh. So let me just start off by saying she thick like she thick thick she real thick i would never say this on the initial review reviewing a concealer but this concealer is bomb like she bomb as hell like the coverage that this gives the the color i love the undertone i love how yellow it was sometimes i do have problems finding a really good concealer because of the undertones um this one is perfect i love the yellow undertone in it i love the warmness of it it is a bomb concealer. Like, this concealer is up there with Tarte Shape Tape and the Too Faced. Um, the new concealer they had come out that I review here on my channel, like, that's, like, compatible to this concealer, except this is, like, the drugstore version. So, I am, like, shook. Like, I'm literally shook over here. I literally have a little mirror because I'm like, let me get all up and through here and let me see what's really going on. Like, I don't even need a powder. Like, I feel like if you have dry under eyes... Um, I'm not sure how much you would like this, but I really do feel like you literally don't even need a powder. But of course, I'm going to set with the powder because um, that's the way I do it. And, um, you know, it also helps with creases and things like that. But this color is beautiful. Like, I love this concealer. It's not too bright and it's not, like, off. Like, they got it. NYX, y'all did that. Y'all really did it with the color, the undertone. It's perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and set using the Laura Mercier um, powder and um, I'm just going to set that concealer. Now that the concealer is set with the powder, I'm just going to go ahead and finish off the rest of my makeup 
And I'll be back to give you guys the tea on this concealer. So now that my face is completed, I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about the concealer and my thoughts. So first thing first, I really do like the formula on this concealer. I like how creamy it was. It reminds me, the creaminess of the concealer reminds me of the um, NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. Like it's super creamy. Um, but then as I began to blend it out, it reminded me of the Tarte Shape Tape. I really do like how full coverage the concealer is. I like how affordable concealer is. I believe this concealer retails for about $8, almost $9, something like that on the Ulta website. I want to say $8.50. I'll be sure to leave the link down in the description bar below so you can check that out. Now as far as the shade, I did not tell you guys the shade that I got. The shade that I got is golden. I feel like if you're my skin tone or something like that, this is going to be a perfect shade match for you. Um, when looking on the website, because it's super hard to pick out colors online, I was debating bet between, I think it was caramel, warm caramel, I want to say it was warm something, and then golden. So I decided to go ahead and play it safe and do golden. Yeah, that just, you know, flipped out of my hands. But anyways, I just decided to go ahead and pick up Golden. And um, there are 24 shades in this concealer. So they have, like, light fair, fair, fair. And they have dark, dark, dark. So they have a really good shade range. And they also have medium. Um, this concealer will be available um, on the 23rd of November this month. So um, I really, really do like this concealer. Like... I don't even know what to say about this concealer, but this concealer is about to be my favorite really, really quick. Like, I really have lately been loving the um, Too Faced concealer, the Multitask, I think that's what it's called, concealer. Um, that also, this concealer also reminds me of that, except that concealer is a little bit more like, um... It's a, I don't want to say radiant, but it's a little bit more, um, it's not matte, basically. This concealer, it is matte. And um, I'm not sure how my girls with the dry under eyes or dry skin are going to feel about this concealer. But I'm a combination oily girl. And so far I'm loving it. I said it with my Laura Mercier powder. I love that powder. Um, and it really looks good. Like I don't really see any fine lines. Um, my eyes are literally fully covered. Because sometimes I feel like with concealers when you start to blend them out. They can kind of skip and stuff like that. But I feel like this is the drugstore um, shape tape and um, Too Faced kind of multitask concealer kind of like put together. I feel like this concealer is going to, it's going to be a favorite of many, many people. Um, normally, I really do not fall in love with the concealer right off the bat like that, but this concealer had just taken the cake just that quick. I can honestly say I like the concealer more than the foundation. Um, simply because the foundation, it just was a little bit um, too dry for my liking and I have like combination oily skin but I still like some like skin like you know I like some radiance I need something give me something besides my highlight definitely check this concealer out like this concealer is $8.50 y'all this concealer is less than $10 and it's like tart shape tape it's like some of the like well-known really popular concealers I don't care try this concealer out normally I say you know if you got something else you can stick to that but no go run the Ulta on the 23rd go try this concealer out it's bomb it is amazing I love the way my under eyes are looking like it's lit it's lit so that's pretty much it those are my thoughts about this um concealer it's new it's popping it's full coverage like it's a look so, um, if you like this video, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. And if you like the channel, go ahead and make sure you smash that subscribe button so you can become a part of the gang. And I will see you guys in my next video.